Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'll turn up the power supply. Danner, tech, Danner, tech, Danner, Danner, tech, Danner, tech, Danner. Hello, this is Danner Tech. And today I'm going to be showing you how to calculate the resistor value to use for an LED, so that way it has the right current and voltage across it, so that way it will not explode and blow up and not work anymore. So, let's get started. So normally, if you are going to be using an LED inside your electronics project, with any voltage that is over a certain set point, then your LED will start dimming, and it will eventually go out, and your LED will not work anymore. As you can see, when I go back down, this LED is completely fried. Now, the way to get past this is to use a resistor on your LED. And you can calculate this with some parameters that you know about the LED, your voltage source, and Ohm's Law. Let's get started. The only two parameters you need to know, first of all in this project, is what LED you're using. And so, for instance, we'll be using this little white LED. Now, the thing about this LED is I've lost the package for it, so I'm not exactly sure what the right voltage is and current for it. Now, normally you can get this on the package, but you'll need to know the voltage across this LED and the current. And if you don't know this, then we can easily find this by using uh, variable voltage and current power supply. So what we'll do is we'll turn the power supply all the way down, and we will connect the LED to the power supply with the long rail as the anode and the short rail as the cathode. Now, if we turn up the voltage, we can see that the LED will start to come on. Now, this LED will reach a maximum brightness, and then it will start dimming. So, as we can see, when this LED is running at full power, it, is, it has 3.44 volts across it, and it has 40 milliamps across it. Now, the issue is, if I increase this voltage any higher, the LED starts getting dimmer and eventually goes out. And now it won't get as bright anymore, because it has ruined the actual LED. As you can see, it's drawing 0.3 amps, and then it's gone. This LED is fried. To prevent this issue, we'll add a resistor in series with the LED and the power supply, so that way we can use the LED at almost any power supply and still have it reach the same brightness. We know that this LED uses 3.2 volts at 0.04 amps, and so we need to write that down. Okay, so these are the parameters of the LED. So we have the voltage source, which is going to be something, and that for now we'll say it's 12 volts. And then what we need to have is we need to have the LED that goes there, and the LED will have a voltage drop of 3.3 volts at a current of 0.04 amps. Now this will need to go through a resistor before it goes back to ground, so that way it doesn't burn out the LED. Now, to calculate this, we'll need to calculate the resistor value using these voltages. And so we know that this has a voltage drop of 3.3 volts, so we'll subtract that from 12 volts to get 8.6 volts. So this resistor needs to have a voltage drop of 8.6 volts. In addition to this, it'll need to have a current flow of 0.04 amps, because the current throughout a whole circuit needs to be the same. And so now we need to figure out what resistance has a voltage drop of 8.6 volts at 0.04 amps. And to find that, we'll use Ohm's Law. Ohm's Law is voltage equals current times resistance, or E equals IR. Now, what we need to do is we need to plug our resistor values into this. So we know the voltage is going to be 8.6 volts, and the current is going to be 0.04, and the resistance is unknown. So we'll divide 8.6 by 0 0.04 to find the resistance that we need for this resistor. As you can see, that magic value is 215 ohms. So this resistor will need to be 215 ohms for this circuit to work properly. So let's find that and test it out. Because a 215 ohm resistor does not really exist, I'm going to be using a 220 ohm resistor because that will work just the same. And so we will take that and add it in series with this LED. Oh, it's in series. Now let's test it out. Okay, here's the moment of truth. I'll turn up the power supply to 12 volts. Now, as you can see, this whole circuit is drawing 0.4 amps, 0.04 amps, or 40 milliamps. So this circuit with the resistor is working exactly how it is supposed to be functioning. Now, there's always an issue to this type of circuit, which is the resistor dissipating value. So if I touch this resistor, it's extremely hot. That is because we know the resistor has a voltage drop of 8.6 volts and a current flow of 0.04 amps. And so if we are able to calculate that, 
instead of dividing it by multiplying it to find the watts across the resistor, multiply 8.6 times 0 0.04, and we get 0.34 watts. Now these resistors are rated for 0.25 watts, or a quarter watt. So by putting 0.34 watts inside here, we're making it dissipate more heat than it's supposed to. As you can see, this resistor is having too much of a heat dissipation because we are having 0.35 watts being lost as heat from this resistor. And so, this isn't the most efficient way to drive an LED. You could always put many LEDs in series and then have a smaller or larger resistor at the end of it, so that way the resistor doesn't have to dissipate as much heat. This method can be used for finding the resistor to drive any LEDs at any voltages. This can even be used to drive LEDs at extremely high voltages, like 110 AC. So, as you can see, that is how you can figure out the resistor value to drive an LED at any voltage. As always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for next time.